All right, y'all, listen. Did you know that last year the government awarded $666 billion in government contracts, right? Which means that the government hires other businesses in order to do service for the United States government, right? And of that, $27 billion went to minorities. But we're going to break down that even further. $27 billion went to women-led businesses, but only 3.5% of that $666 billion went to the black community. And that is something that is unacceptable, has to stop. And it's not because the government's keeping us out, it's because we don't have the knowledge to understand how to get the government back. So our guest, Jay White, is going to break down the insider's guide on how to search, submit, and secure government contracts. And I promise you, you have to watch this interview to the end because, I mean, I thought that it was difficult. Like, I didn't know the whole process, but I'm telling you, he's going to break it down so simple that you won't, it's going to blow your mind. You're going to be asking yourself, yo, why have I not tapped in to this government money and so our next guest, Jay White, is going to give you the whole game, nothing but the game to help you grind. All right, y'all, let's get it. Hey, so this episode of Inside the Vault is sponsored by Mailbox Millionaire Academy, the number one commercial real estate credit mentorship program for real estate professionals looking to take their real estate business to the next level. See, look, a lot of people want to get into real estate, but they don't want to deal with the hassle of tenants, clogged toilets, trash, leaky sinks. This is why you need to learn how to invest in the number one performing real estate asset, which is not what you think. It's actually self-storage facilities. You can get all the benefits of owning real estate with less headaches, and most importantly, you'll get more cash flow. If you think you need a ton of money to start, well, that is absolutely false. My guy, Ramel, who's the lead instructor at Mailbox Millionaire Academy, teaches you how to purchase commercial real estate with, guess what? No money down strategies, no money out of your pocket. So no matter where you are in your entrepreneurship journey, you can get started. So what I need you to do is I need you to text VAULT to 347 347- Four two nine six four nine six. Register for the free training that Ramel is having, and I'll see you on the other side. All right, let's get to the episode. Pay attention and listen. We about to teach class inside the vault. My man asks cash to get your man right. Thursday nights, eight p.m. You see him change your life. Millionaire mindset, the best on earth. Blueprints of wealth and knowledge network. Forget it while you can, and he's standing right here. Just come inside the vault and see black. All right, so welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash, the only show that is giving you the insider's guide on how to become financially free and live your best life. Listen, the guest that we have today is going to blow your mind. He's going to give you the insider's guide on how to search, submit, secure government contracts. And when I tell you, listen, the government is giving out a bag, $666 billion to be exact last year. And it's no coincidence, though, 666. Now I'm just playing. But listen, it is, it is that number. But I promise you, you know, our next guest is going is to give you the game. My brother Jay White is in the building. Man, what's up, baby? How are you? Hey, yo, I'm good, man. Yes, I'm good. Sir. Yo, I, yo, I'm excited um, about this interview because, um, you know, I always heard about government contracts. Yeah, yeah. I heard that, you know, you know, you could really create financial freedom and, and, and create create a business yeah. out of securing government contracts. And the thing I like the most is that you're not even doing the work, right? That's the biggest Like piece. you the you the you the middleman. Like 100%. you the you the you the connect. You know 100%. No, like, for real talk. You the 100%. Connect, connect, right? Yeah, and we yeah. so we're gonna talk about that. But before we get into that, you know, I want you know people to 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 know uh in your words, who is Jay White? Man, I'm Jay White, first name, last name. Listen, I'm just a dude that tried to figure it out. I got a PhD, though, so shout out for everybody with the education. My public high school diploma, Ooh. you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but 
that's the part that's so special about me. Like, I understand that I can utilize just common sense and basic knowledge to get to where I'm at today. Yeah. And that's who I am. Yeah. And that's so, right. um, I, I, I like, I like your story a lot, right? Because, yeah. you know, again, for myself, you know, say I'm a, I'm a 15 year banking executive, right? Yeah, so yeah. I, you did the whole banking thing. Um, you know, uh, I grew up in the project, so I got a PhD too. You feel me? My public housing degree, <laughs> you feel me? But, um, you know, I always, even as somebody who, you know, went through, you know what I'm saying, you know, C-suite and, and doing all of the education, you know, I got a bachelor's degree in entrepreneurship, I did all of that. Okay. I've always looked at government contract like, yo, bro, I, I'm not even going to mess with this because, yeah. um, you know, I'm an, I need to learn how to write proposals. I need to know how to submit all this stuff. Yeah. But you're somebody who, um, all you have is a high school degree. Now that's it. Yeah, yeah. I went to college, I went to Nova State one year. Yeah. And I just was in there going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got a kid that I was. Uh, I had a little confidence, but then when I went to college, all the shorties on me. Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. ain't do no school work right, in that joint, right. and it, your school just wasn't for me. Period. Yeah. You know what I mean? It yeah. just wasn't my thing. So now I'm trying to figure it out. My homeboy went to the military, mm -hmm. so I was like, all right, check it. I'm gonna go too. Mm -hmm. I was a Mister Me Too dude. Oh, you doing it? I could do that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Went there. And I had all kinds of bad luck in there. Wow. Yeah, I went to the brig for two years. Mm -hmm. um, what is that? What does that mean? That's military jail, okay, yo. Right, yeah, 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 that's yeah. military. That's a jail for real. Wow. Like, people think fed time is hard. No, that brig time is serious. Wow. So then I had two, I had the wars me moments. Like, all right, I shouldn't be in here. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold on, hold on. Let's not skip past yeah. that, though. <laughs> Let's not skip past that. Like, what, yeah, what did yeah. you do? That, that uh, got you locked up yeah. in, in the military yeah. for two years. I, I made good on the threat. Mm. Like straight at the end of the day, I'm still a man. Right. But then I was a 21 year old hothead man. Right. So now you know the military is to give you discipline and structure. Yeah. And they, it was just like breaking me down. Mm. I was like, you know what? Forget this. Yeah. Yeah. Got me in there. Yeah. Yeah. And two so, years. And so and so and so and so it, it, it broke you down to the point where yeah. All right, you 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 made good on a threat. Yeah. Um, did two years, mm -hmm. um, and we call it the Briggs. The Brig, the Brig, the yeah. Brig, right? Mm -hmm. So you did two years in the Brig, and then how how, how did that uh, uh, affect your life? So it was a negative impact originally, yeah. Because I'm thinking like, all right, I can't get a job. I'm probably gonna get a dishonorable discharge, which I didn't. Mm -hmm. I ended up getting an honorable discharge mm -hmm. because I just got my head on straight while I was in there. Yeah. Boom. I can When I came home, I just was like, all right. I'm gonna just get a job and just work. Mm. And I got a job at the uh, gas station around the corner from my mom's house. Cause mm. I ain't had no car. Right. I, had to, I had a bicycle though. Yeah, yeah. So let me catch this bike to, my, to the gas station. Yeah. Real talk. And yeah. I was good. Yeah. See, most people aren't satisfied with where they at. Yeah. They're always trying to scale and get bigger. I'm like, I'm good. I was good at the gas station. Yeah. Because that was my world at the time. That was my mentality. Yeah. But also too, I was gonna be the best gas station attendant, period. Mm. I always was like, I'm gonna be the best. Yeah. I mean, you a hooper, we yeah. confident. I'm, I'm gonna be the best. Yeah. So that's why I was stuck at for yeah. a little bit. And so from military to gas station, yeah. now closing multi-million dollar deals with the government. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> like how do you how do you go, like how do you go from military in the brig two years, yeah. got a record, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but luckily, honor, you know, honorably discharged, get a job, live with your mama, yeah. at the gas station, yeah. and then now when we look up, Jay White, 100%. Multi-million dollar deals yeah. with the government. The government paying you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah how, how, how we got there? It was a journey. It was yeah. a real transformation. Yeah, yeah. You got to think about it. Like, inside of... Uh, me working at the gas station, I'm still around the way. Yeah. So I still got those demons too. Mm. Selling this, selling that. Mm. Uh, and, you know, just just doing bad, just doing wrong, right? Yeah. But it wasn't until my homeboy pulled up on me at the gas station. He like, yo, I'm going to get a government contract in trucking. Mm. And that opened up the whole thing. Oh, wow. That okay. opened up the whole thing. That sent me down a whole rabbit hole of government contracting, registration, Sam. That sent me down that whole rabbit hole. Because of the vessel who it was. Mm. If he's saying he finna do this, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. It gotta be something to it. So, so it's, let me it's, 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 a, it's a dude that, yeah. that that was that was in college well, he doing loved, the right nah, thing. Nah, nah, this dude loved the game like Mitch. Mm. So if he trying to get out the game, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, let me pay attention to him real mm. quick. Cause it gotta be something behind it. He was he was in the game for real. Right, right. But now he trying to get out and do government contract. Okay, yeah. let me pay attention. Word. And that's what made me pay attention. But he got locked up the same night he told me. Wow. Five, five years. See what I'm saying? He was getting out of it. 
paths caught up to him, but he sent me on a path upward though. Mm. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. And then, and then so 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 somebody's listening right now, right? Who's like, man, like I right, cool, like I'm in this, you know, like like like, like I'm hearing all of this, right? Yeah. What's the first step? Like, what was the first step you took to kind of get you into that into that space? Well, listening to him, but then it was back. This is two thousand eight too, yeah, mind you. Yeah. This back YouTube University was trash mm-hmm. back then. Right. So I really was in a hamster wheel, just trying to piece it all together, put the pieces to the puzzle together. Yeah. Um. So my first step was YouTube University yeah. and just going to look up certain little videos to help me figure out. I didn't even know what the LLC was, bro. Mm. I didn't even know what that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then yeah. it took that took me like two weeks to figure that out. But that was my first step, going to U2 University and figuring out what is a federal government contract, mm-hmm. which I know today a federal government contract is the government is looking to procure products and services through small businesses. Mm-hmm. Once I figured that out, okay, cool. I don't actually have a business. Yeah. And then I figured out how to be the middleman mm-hmm. off of that. And yeah. so and so, j- just for those who, who, who are, you know, tuning in and they're like, all right, government contract, I understand yeah. what that is. You know, government's procuring... Uh, you know, uh, businesses, yeah, uh, products, and services. products and services from small businesses, and you saying middleman, like, like break it down layman's term, yeah, right? Because yeah. I want people to understand exactly what it means mm-hmm. to get a government contract and make money. So break it down. I got to, you know, my son is six years old. I got you. And he always asking me, yo, dad, how do I make money? Talk, talk the little ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T- at six years old, All right. government contract. All right, so people game. So the government is asking for something. I go to the government and say, okay, I can provide that something that you're asking for. They say, okay, what's the price? Here's the price. I get that contract, but I don't actually have it. I go to you and say, hey, this is what I need from you, and you provide it to me. I give it to the government. Wow. That, it's that simple. And then how do you get paid? Because I put my money on top of yours. Ah. So if you're charging me 1000 I'm going to put 500 on top of it mm. and... To the government, we sending them a fifteen hundred dollar invoice. All right, so let so so let me let me let me just recap just just, just so I can understand. So I'm yes, an sir. author, yes, sir. right? My book from the block to the bank. Okay. Government says, yo, I wanna I wanna stop recidivism, and so I wanna order a thousand books that help people stop recidivism or whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. So they so they they put out a request. There you go. Yeah. And in that request, they say, listen, I need I need a I need a thousand books that are targeted towards stopping recidivism. Yeah. You, because you understand the language and you know how to get it, you say, government, I got you. Yep. Give me the contract. And so the government, does the government tell you the price that they want for it? Nah. Or? See, that's the piece, right? So we're bidding. Yeah. So, so we're bidding. So simultaneously, as I'm reviewing the request, yep. I'm going for the person who mm. actually have what the request is. Gotcha. I'm doing it simultaneously yeah. because I don't know what the price is. I got to ask you for that. Yeah. Okay, how much you want for these thousand books? Yeah. Okay, for a thousand books, you want $5,000? Yeah. Cool, no problem. Your price is your price. Yeah. I'm not negotiating your price. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my money on top of yours. Mm. So you want five racks? Cool. I'm going to just get a thousand because yeah. if it's a one hit a quitter, I'm out the door. Right. So our, our invoice to the federal government or proposal, request for proposal, is $6,000. Mm-hmm. And, and so wait, wait, wait. So if I, if I understand you correctly, what you're trying to say is, right, so you get the books from me for $5,000. Now you submit a bid to the, to the government. Let's say you say $6,000. Yeah. Government pays you $6,000. You give me my five, yeah. and then you keep $1,000. Yeah, but this is the thing, though. I'm not going to buy your books until I get awarded the contract. Mm. I'm not prepaying for anything. Right. And that's where a lot of people go wrong. At. That's why in 2008, I didn't have to have good credit. Mm. I didn't have to have a business credit, a network, mm. uh, people that had this. And I didn't have to have none of that wow. because I didn't prepay for anything. Once the gov- once I find your price and your price is $5,000, i am going to just tell them the price is six. Mm. And they didn't say, okay, now I'm getting the books because mm. I got the liquid currency. I got an award letter mm. from the federal government saying, boom, they're going to pay you this. So you're going to give, you're going to get the, the books at that point. Wow. And so, and so you got to have like, you got to have like a, some type of certificate or something, uh, some type of training yeah. in order, like the government just going to let you walk in. Yeah. My guy who, who di- barely graduated <laughs> high school, 1.9 GPA. Yes, sir. I did my research. Yes, sir. <laughs> 1.9 GPA. You know what I'm saying? From high school. Yeah, Booker you know T. What I'm saying? Yeah. Booker T, Booker T, Washington. <laughs> yes, sir. In, yes, sir. In, in, in Maryland. Yes, you know sir. Let saying? go, let go. Yo, and my man go to my man go to college, chasing the chasing the joints. Yes, I did. Right? Yeah. 
went to the military two years, yeah. two years in the brig, yeah, yeah. come home, live with his mama, <laughs> and right, live with his mama yeah. and work at a gas station. The and corner. the government is gonna let you yeah. sell them products and services. It yeah. gotta, it gotta be something to that. Look, I'm trying to tell you, all that you said, if you notice, it helped me cultivate my communication skills. Mm. A lot of people think it's submitting the paperwork and the pricing. Yeah. I pick up the phone. Yeah. I let them know. They're going to remember me. When I pick that phone up, oh, that's Jay White proposal. Mm. Most people don't do that. This is how old I am. Mm. I was able to go to like a Hardee's or Winn-Dixie or Superfresh yeah. and provide my paper, get, my paper application, right? Yeah. But I ain't giving it back to the person that gave it to him. I'm asking to speak to the hiring manager. Mm. Once I asked to speak to the hiring manager, guess what happened? They remember my face. So when I called back, hey, I'm Jason White. I'm 16 years old. I play on the basketball team. Yeah, I remember you, young man. It's the same concept. I'm calling them saying, I submitted my proposal on such and such. I do remember you. Mm. And now that's what helped get me in the door, mm. not all the other stuff. Right. The federal government want to give all total small businesses chances, mm. but most people don't understand that. Wow. They think you got to have all this past performance, yeah. all this knowledge, all these certifications. Nah, that ain't what help you win. Now listen, you want to get into real estate without dealing with the hassle of tenants, toilets, or trash? You want to get into the number one performing asset, which is self-storage facilities. Think about the demand. Right now, so many people are going through tough times through this pandemic. A lot of people are downsizing, they're losing their jobs but they want to hold on to their most sacred possessions. What do we do with it? You put it in a storage facility, just like this one right here. But how about you get into the number one performing asset without any of those problems? No tenants, no trash, no toilets, high demand. Listen, I got this fire training, right? So I need you to join my free training, my commercial and real estate masterclass, where I'm gonna show you how to go out there and purchase self storage facilities with no money out of your pocket, right? So if you at the bottom right now, you thinking I can't get started because I don't have money, I have an opportunity for you. So if you wanna learn while you earn, Tap into my free training. You're going to get life changing information to go out there and start your journey. Take advantage of the opportunity just like that. I'll see you on the other side. And, and, so, and so it's really not about, uh, like you said, past performance, which means that um, having had, you know, having done business with the government before, that's yeah. the, that's the assumption that people have it. So yeah. you're saying like, like for instance, I've never sold nothing to the government. Yeah. And so you're telling me that I could right now today yeah. start selling stuff to the government. If it's an ask for it. Mm. See, a lot of people think, Oh, what do I have that I can sell to the government? Yeah. Or what do I have that I can provide a service to the government? What well, people gain? They are already telling you they need a product, they need a service. Yeah. You don't have to market whatever you have to the federal government. Yeah. Give them what they need. They asking for this product, they asking for this service. Give it to them. And if you don't have it, it's a company that already got it. Mm. So go get that company, y'all partner up, and then y'all give it to the government what they're asking for. Mm. It's no, no more, no that. less. Yeah. And, and so how, how do you, how do you find out? Like how do you know what the government is is, is looking for? Easy. It's a website called Sam.gov. Mm. I make it super simple. Yeah. Go to Sam.gov. It's 96,000 contract opportunities. Not every single month. Mm. Every day. Word. Every single day. That's why it's no competition. Word. Every single day they're asking for a product or they're asking for a service. But I teach people to go for the services first because yeah. we want residual income. Mm. Build that foundation of residual income first. Mm. Then you can go hit the one hit of quitters, the mm. product joints. Wow. wow. Yeah. So... It gotta be something to this, Jada. Hold on. Like, <laughs> I ain't buying that, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. like you said, go to Sam, Sam, Sam.gov. Yes, sir. And then once you go to Sam.gov, you said 96,000? Every single day. Every single day. Every single day. I bet. Yeah. So 96,000, like, 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 what's the barrier? What you not telling me, bro? Like, what what's, the, what, what's the barrier? Like, what what's you not asking, asking me? me? What you not asking like, me? Like, 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 <laughs> like, what, like, like, what, like, what's, so now, I right, boom, go to, I go to uh, Sam.gov. Yeah. Sam.gov, I look, I see the proposal, yeah. right? And, and I like what you said about, you know, uh, going after services and get residual income yeah. because if you go after services, then that means that the government's always going to need it over and over and month over again, month, month after month. After yeah, month. Yes, and, so, and so as the middle person, you could you could set up that contract and you keep eating over and go. over and over again, yeah. right? So I love that. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the language. And then if you do a product, one hit a quitter, yeah. they buy the product yeah. and then they have to get the contract over. You sprinkle over those again. in. Right. Between your residual ones, your yeah. service-based ones, you sprinkle them one hit of quitters in yeah. as yeah. you're building your own past performance now. Because now as you're winning, guess what's happening? You're building your own past performance and you no longer have to use the subs if you don't want to because mm. you got your own. And so, and so let's talk about that, right? So now... 
um, you know, Sam.gov, you, you, you get the information, you know what they're looking for. How do you find subcontractors? So subcontractor is the the person that would That's fulfill it, do the work, yeah. right? Like, how, how do you find those? So everybody write down my best friend, Google. Word. Google, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I, if I'm in Baltimore, Maryland, or I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia, I'm going to go to... Uh, California or, 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 or San Francisco, California, if that's where the work is. Mm. Wherever the place of performing is, I'm going there. Mm. That's why I only deal on the federal level because it's a federal facility in all 50 states. Right. I don't have to be bound to whatever is in my backyard. Damn. But that's how most people do government contracting, right? Mm -hmm. Because they want to see what's in their backyard so they can provide the service or so they can go check on the contractors. I ain't trying to do none of that. Mm. I'm going to go to Google, see the companies in San Francisco, California, call them up, say, can you do this work? And how much you charging me? Get that quote, send it to the government. Watch must repeat. Yeah. Yeah. And how, how how do you how do you make sure though that whoever you are hiring as a subcontractor yeah. is doing the work that, that they that's a good question. Do? It's only by gut feeling. I'm gonna be a thousand with you. Yeah, yeah. These companies put anything on the on the website. Yeah. You can put it's an app that put reviews on your website. Right, right, that ain't right. even true. Yeah. So yeah. you can't go by the website. You got to pick up the phone. Everybody got a BS radar. Mm -hmm. Everybody can tell. Even if you don't know the work, you can tell when somebody on the other end trying to BS you. Mm -hmm. But you taking a chance because the government took a chance on me. Mm -hmm. Like you said, a dude that barely graduated, yeah, yeah. living at his mama crib, yeah. at the gas station, yeah. they gave me my first contract. Yeah. They gave yeah. me a chance. So I'm giving subcontractors and total small businesses a chance too. And so and so, uh, what what was what was your first uh, your first contract? Like how uh, much how much was your first contract? So the total value this so this how you know I was new. Yeah. The total value was three hundred thousand. The the, the very first yeah, contract. The, the listen, 300, 300, yeah, listen, listen to it. Listen to it. Yeah, yeah. The total value was three hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. I was only getting one hundred and twenty five dollars a month from it. Word. <laughs> but look, but peep game though. Yeah, yeah. I'm at the gas station. I'm excited about that 125 because mm. that's work I ain't doing. Mm. I figured it out now. Yeah, yeah. Man, I was hyped when I got that 125. Took my mom to sizzling and everything. Oh, I'm dead old. It back. I'm dead old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but you know, but you know what? What I like about that perspective though. Yeah. Because um, your first contract, and, and I want y'all to pay attention. Look, all my insiders who are watching this right now, I want y'all to pay attention. To what Jason just said, he said his first contract, right, as the middle person, was three hundred thousand dollars, right, which means that he was able to procure um, three hundred thousand dollars worth of services, and that went to another business, mm -hmm. right, and so that other business is loving him. They like, yo, thank you so much, three hundred thousand, yeah. and off of that three hundred thousand, he, I'm not even gonna say he only got one twenty five, but he was only making a hundred and twenty five dollars per month. But instead of being salty, because you could have been salty, course, like you could have easily said, yo, at 300000 you talking literally about $30,000 plus dollars a month. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Or, or a little, like $25,000, let us say, right? Yeah. Like about $25,000 a month yeah. that's going to another company. And out of $25,000, <laughs> you're not even getting 1% of that. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you're not even yeah. getting 1%. You're getting yo. point. I'm doing the math in my head. Yeah. you get you getting 0.5% for yo. being a plug. Yo, peep game. And I was excited. Excited, bro. Here's the reason. Number yeah. one, I figured out the strategy that I'm utilizing that I didn't make. I didn't make this up, though. Yeah, yeah. The strategy that I'm utilizing is working. Yeah. It worked. Yeah. I won my first contract. Yeah. Number two, I'm building my own past performance. Number three, I'm getting bread for stuff I ain't doing. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm good. Now I'm going to just watch Mr. Pete. So the second month, it took me two months to win my second contract. Yeah. That was for $7,000 a month. Mm. Now I'm good. I ain't at the gas station no more. Mm. We passed Sizzlers now. Wow. I'm out my mama crib. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Now, now, now I understand pricing. Right. Now I understand negotiating with my subcontractor. Yeah. Bringing in the right type of subcontractor. Yeah. So it, all in all, it took me a little over three years to win that first contract. Yeah. And then two months after that first one to really figure it out and get wow, it rolling. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And then so what? What? What has been uh, the biggest contract you you've gotten so far? Yeah. So now to date is uh, five point three. Ooh. Mill. 5.3. Yeah, 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 mill. And, 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 and what's the... What, you want to count my pockets now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm holding your pockets, B. I'm pocket watching, B. I'm, 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 out, of, out of the 5.3, I'm getting 1.8. Oh. Yeah. For work, I ain't doing. Work. Come on, man. As the plug. Repaving a parking lot. No, 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 no. Hold yeah, hold yeah. On. I ain't oh, even seen it. Hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on. I ain't even seen it. Cut the cameras off. Cut the cameras <laughs> off. Hold on, hold on. So yeah. you're saying... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. wait. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's the biggest one to date. 
<laughs> let me brief for a second. So you saying, you saying, right? Same scenario. Oh, yeah. Same scenario. The government says, yo, I need somebody to pave parking lots. Right. Repave them. Repave they, they parking already lots. paid. The pave, they just, they just bad. It's messed up. And so the government say, yo, I want, I want somebody to repave parking lots. Mm-hmm. They, they say, yo, I got, I got a, I got a 5.4, 5.3? Nah, because they don't give you the price. They don't uh, give you the tag. Yeah, because yeah. if they give you the price, okay, we doing, we want you to repay parking lots at 5.3 million. Yeah. What's everybody big going to be? Facts. There you 5. go. 5.3, right. There you go. So, so, so what you do is you find a company that repays parking lots. There you go. And you say, yo, here's this job. Yeah. Let me, how much, how much would you charge for this job? Yeah. They give you a number. Yeah. And you said, so, so, so if it's 5.3, you do made 1.4. Do, do the math, look, 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 look. baby. Do the math. If, if it's, if it's 5.3, you made 1.4. 1.8. You told, right? Give me, give me mine. Right. 1.8. Yeah. Give me mine. 1.8. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. Right? Yeah, give me mine. So 1. Yeah. 8, yo, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so 5.3. Uh, uh, 1.8. Yeah. So you did what? What? What's that? Three point. Uh, close. Get to it. You wait, close. Hold on. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, hold yeah, on. Yeah. We the best. We the best. Right. Five point three. Uh, one point eight. So that. So there's a five in that number. Right, so that's was it two point five? No, three point five. Four point five. Three point five. Three point five. Three point five. So so that was they quote to me. So they said three point five. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? And so you went to the government. You said, yo. Y'all gonna charge me three point five million to do this work? Hey, government, five point three. It's my proposal. It's my to proposal the government. to you. Boom, hundred percent. Government says yes. They say you good. You goodmoney.com. Oh yeah, and then I'm doing this in my living room. Hey, <laughs> yes. and so and so and so. I, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, man, if, if that doesn't like, hey, yo, I'm not doing the show no more. You got to I take my okay. <laughs> understand too though. I teach people I'm not even worried about the million dollar contract. Yeah, yeah. Most people are most people are hopped up on entrepreneurship and million dollar. Yeah. I could care less about the million dollar. Yeah. Because I wanna I want the compound effect to take effect. Mm. Right? I want more than just one contract. I want multiples, right? Yeah. So I got them for seven hundred and fifty dollars. Mm. I got them for 1.4. Yeah. I got them for a thousand. Yeah. But I got over 250 plus federal government contracts. Mm. So now we talk about residual income. I'm chilling. Wow. I don't gotta do nothing. Wow. Nothing. Talk to nobody, do nothing. I'm well off. Mm. But the thing is this, I gotta talk to people about it because they hopped up on million dollar everything. Mm. What's wrong with ten thousand dollar contracts? Right, right. Now you set. Yeah, and, and I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad that you pu- you pulled that back, right? Because you you right. Yeah. Because we're talking about the the biggest contract you had. Right. I bet I made one point eight million dollars off this government contract. But at the end of the day, you told me your second contract you making seven thousand a month. That ain't nothing to sneeze at, Come on, man. right? In, in in Atlanta, seven thousand a month to get you a, get you you gonna live nice. What if you living in Alaska? Right. Facts. Yeah. Come on, man. Like I, I gotta break it down to people because the mindset is is federal government contracting, and they look at the word federal government yeah. blank check. Okay, now I got to unlearn so you can learn. Don't think about blank check. Think about consistent growth, yeah. consistency, right? Yeah. Because you need to continue to build past performance and the skill set of communication. Yeah. So now your company can continue to be awarded hand over fist. And, that, and that's what I was going to ask, man, because I think that, um, you know, again, we talked about the stats earlier, two point, or, or, or was it 3.5? Wait, hold on, let me look at these Do stats. The bad, yeah. Uh, 3.5. And so, and so, I, I, I like that you, uh, I like what you're saying because you know we talked about the stats earlier. Three point five percent of of those government contracts are awarded to black companies. You yeah, know what I'm saying? And yeah. so the fact that um, you have this game, right? You you're not holding the game to yourself. Like yeah. you're teaching people how to do it. And um, that was that. That's one of the things that 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 I want to ask. Right? Is that you know you have you know programs where you're teaching other people how to do it. Yeah. Um, and teaching other students, you know, how to kind of, you know, create this this passive income through government contracting. And so, you know, like I, like I love the fact that you know you have like students, you're teaching people because you know we talked about this this stat earlier that out of all of the government contracts, right, uh, contracts awarded six hundred and sixty six billion dollars. That's last year though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that ain't you know, that's six hundred sixty six billion last year. Only three point five percent of that. Was issued to the black community, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I love that you that you you're teaching your students. So like like talk about some of those things that you're teaching them, right? Because you know the barrier to entry is is nothing, right? Yeah, you yeah. don't have to you don't have to have a certificate. You don't have to have a special type of education. 
Um, but what are the things that you do have to have in order to get to that level where not only are people being, you know, awarded those million dollar contracts, but like you said, they're getting those contracts that could literally, you know, take care of their whole family on a, on a monthly basis. It's simple, man. Mindset. That's yeah. the craziest thing. Like wow. it has nothing to do with your, your education, your background. It's mindset. Yeah. You got to have a mindset just to be consistent mm. and understand you have to learn a new way. Mm. Just like you said, come on, man, Jay, what you not telling me? Yeah. I'm telling you everything. Yeah, yeah. It's that simple. Yeah. The federal government truly doesn't care who provides the product or service, mm. just long as it's, it's the cheapest and they can actually do it. Wow. If they can actually do it, you in there. Yeah. But most people come with preconceived notions like, oh, I, I got to have this, I got to have that. And I'm here to condense their whole time frames. Wow. The crazy thing is about these certifications and set asides, the government calls us social economic disadvantage group. Mm. I hate that word. I, I hate it. I hate it with a passion. So I teach my students, don't worry about the certification because there's a difference between crumbs in the hood and crumbs in Bel Air, right? right, right. Big difference. Right. I don't want them crumbs in the hood. Give me them crumbs from Bel Air. That cookie tastes way different. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I, I love what you're doing. You know, with, with your program, you know, you, you have students, you're teaching them the game. Um, and, and how, you know, and you've had, you, you know, you've had some very successful students and I'm going to yeah. talk about those, uh, in a sec. But one of the things that, that I'm intrigued about is that only 3.5% of the money that's awarded in government contracts, contracts are going to the black community, right? Mm -hmm. But in my mind though, I'm like, wait, if $27 billion are going to minorities, then how, why isn't that number for black community a little higher? Right. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, so yep. I, like, like I'm, I'm doing the math, but yeah. it's not adding up. So the, the, the set aside program or certifications is all propaganda. Mm. It, it's propaganda. It is what it is, right? Yeah. So minority, the word minority in the federal government means anybody except for a white male. Mm. So that means white females in the federal government eyes is a minority. Word. There you go. So now you take that small little fact right there, yeah. and now you have white women building companies that are considered minorities winning contracts, mm -hmm. but it's not in the black community. Because right. in the black community, when we hear the word minority, we think about us. Absolutely. Yeah. But the federal government expands that word mm -hmm. to uh, everybody so, so that's you, not so a white you male. you telling me that Joe has a company, white man, yeah. has a, you know, has a company, has been killing it. Yeah. He put his wife on game. Yeah. His wife opens up a company yeah. and she she qualifies as a minority business. And 100%. Be, 100%. Wow. And, and then two peep game. They don't have a quote unquote, they don't have it where it says minority certification. Yeah. They mask it and it's so-called 8A. The number eight, the letter A. Mm. The 8A business development program yeah. that's supposed to be set aside for minorities, mm. but the government expands the word minority to everybody that's not a white male. Yeah. And now when you look at the numbers in terms of the black community, that's why they're not there. Mm. Then too, most people that think about government contracting, they make it complicated. Mm. They use all this jargon that we don't want to relate to, or it don't make it interesting, or we don't think we can do it, so we bypass it. So yeah. now the federal government awards the same companies over and over again, and that's where the numbers are so low. Wow, wow, wow. And so, and so, like, why, uh, why teach it though? Like, if, like, like, why, why did you get into the space of like, you know what? Like, yeah. I got, I got to start teaching this thing. Right? You know, the crazy thing is, I was always teaching it. Mm. People getting Jay from the gas station ain't driving a bike no more. Right. He got an Acura Vigor. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Jay from the gas station went to Mexico. Where he getting money to go out yeah, the yeah, country? Yeah. So people ask me, what are you doing? What's happening? So I'm teaching people what I'm knowing as much as I can. Yeah. And then I, I met a, a guy named Jose Bennett. Shout out to my guy. Salute, salute. Yeah, he the one that helped me expand it to a level where I can teach it at a larger scale. Yeah. And then when we got connected, we came up with the course last year. Yeah. And then we we it's doing this thing. Yeah. It ain't even me. Like I hate to really talk about. I'm gonna stop using the word hate, but mm. I dislike yeah. talking about my own stats. Yeah. Because now the information that I'm giving and people are executing, they killing it. Mm. That's the that's the biggest piece. And so me. talk 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 to me about some of some of your 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 students that have taken your program? So since the course came out last year in March, since March, um, people, my students have won over $12.8 million in wow. federal government contracts. Wow. Yeah, in the less, in the year. Wow. So then we got students that's winning contracts in two weeks, mm. four months. I got a student that, and then I tell them, like, yo, y'all doing stuff that I didn't even do. Wow. It took me three years yeah, yeah, to win yeah, my yeah. first. And I, I think people don't really understand that. Three years of no bread. Mm. That gas station money ain't 
There's right. nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm really scratching and surviving. Mm. Good times, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like for real. If you know, you know. Yeah, three years, yeah, yeah, yo. So yeah. when they, when they, con I'm helping them condense their time frames, two weeks. Uh, I'm talking about these single mom, uh, single dads, people that season. When I mean season, you're a little up in age. And you know, most people that's up in age, they in their own way, right? Yeah, yeah. But now I'm teaching them a skill set. They went in $2.4 million contracts wow. out the gate. Wow. $30,000 contracts out the gate. These, this is money awarded to them in their pockets. Yeah. So that's, I'm excited for that, man. man I'm, I'm, awesome. I can't be, I can't be more excited for that. And so what, 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 like what, what advice would you give to somebody who's just starting out? So somebody's, you know, hearing you now, right? So whether it's, you know, the young guy who just came home, the, the girl who's trying to figure things out, yeah. the older cat who's like, yo, I, I'm tired of this job. Yeah. I, I, you know, I need some financial freedom. Um, what, what, what advice are you giving them? Everybody should be doing a piece of business with the federal government. Mm. The federal government is not a fad. Mm. They ain't going nowhere, yeah. right? And their business isn't demand on people. Mm. Their business is based off of a demand. Yeah. A demand for a product or a demand for a service. That ain't going nowhere. Yeah. So if you don't understand the way of the world and attaching yourself to something that you don't have to sell, sell, sell to people, it's the federal government. Mm. For work that you're not doing, you got to cultivate certain skill sets. Uh, that's what I'm helping you do. Yeah, and then, so what, what does a normal day look like for JY? Or, oh, or, 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 today, today? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna today, say today, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> today is different. Right. Wake right. up and do whatever, right? Right. But I, but I wake up. I'm constantly um, working on my own skill. My company. I haven't stopped doing this. Mm -hmm. I've been awarded four contracts this year. Wow. So I, I don't stop because I need my information to be current and new. Yeah. Right. So I'm always. I hope host, host group, group Zoom calls every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. so I'm always. Giving people a piece of me yeah. so they can keep getting new information. Yeah. And keep and, going to their next level. And, and so, and so, you know, but so so here's the thing though, right? So you what does a typical day look like for somebody who's just starting out? But before you ask answer that, you know, one thing you mentioned that that kind of like piqued my interest is like, yo, my students, I got my students, it's taking them, you know, you know, two weeks, yeah. right? But yeah. it took you three years. Why did it took you three years? It's taking them two weeks. I hate to read. Mm. I don't like it, right? Change wasn't the thing for me. Yeah. You taking a dude that all I know is gas station and, and hustle, yeah, yeah. and now I got to read government jargon. Yeah. So the full first year, I was motivated. I was, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this government contract thing. Man, that second year, I was, I'm good. Mm. I said, this is too much for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. But my man that helped me uh, learn about government contracting, mm. he did five years. Mm. His mama came back up to the gas station, and she gave me some encouraging words, mm. and that put the battery right back in my back. After I had that conversation with her, it took me another eight months, but I won. Mm -hmm. Like consistency is the biggest thing. You yeah. don't got that. You, you ain't got. Yeah, and 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 then, and then talk a little bit because because I because I know I know earlier we talked about like you know being able to um, you know present yourself in the right way, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, how has pre pre presentation in this game? Uh, hurt you and it helped you. All right, so my name is Jason White. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my mama, right? Yeah, yeah. My name is good. My name is clean and green. Yeah. But now when I get on the phone, I'm using words like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I can't do this, ain't that, shorty. Like my vernacular was crazy. Yeah. So they wasn't pant they wasn't taking me serious. So I had to learn that, okay, I can't use ain't, I gotta use something else. Mm -hmm. I can't say, you know what I'm saying? I gotta say, can you say again? Mm -hmm. Like now I gotta understand, okay, I'm speaking to somebody on the phone. I still wanna be true to me, yeah. but I gotta just use words that can clearly map out what I'm requesting from them so I can get what I want too. And that was a big learning curve mm -hmm. for your boy. Mm -hmm. I'm raw. Yeah. I, I, I make no, t no cans about it. I'm raw. Yeah. But I understand I gotta change my vernacular. I'm in a different world right now. Yeah. It's this world over here, and now it's this world over here. Mm -hmm. So my presentation over the phone gotta be clean. They don't mm -hmm. see my face, yeah. but my words gotta get me in the door. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then now, once your words get you in the door, that's what gives them the confidence to be able to award you bids. And then, you know, like, like how is that, um, you know, help you that consistency? Yeah. Or, or just confidence to have a conversation with me, yeah. right? So now once I got the conversation going, now I can get things out of them to help me create a competitive quote. So when I submit it, Oh, that's Jay White proposal. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like I told you the story with the resume and the application. Yeah. Now I'm a familiar face or familiar name because I built that rapport. Yeah. And that's that's the piece that I go over the heaviest. Yeah. The rapport building is big. I don't care what business world you in, you gotta build rapport, especially over here. And so what what's the what's the number one thing you would you would say is like holding people back from 
like winning bids. So somebody's in the game right now, they trying, but they like, yo, I don't know what this dude talking yeah. about. It, I've been I've been at this. I ain't get I ain't getting no bids. Like, what's the biggest thing? That's too much information, man. It, it's too much information. They yeah. getting stuff from here, there, everywhere. You gotta have this. You gotta be in business for two years. Yeah. You gotta get this certification first. You gotta have past performance. All that stuff hold people back to say, oh, I ain't fooling with it. Right. Because it takes we in a microwave society, right? Yeah. You tell somebody, yo, you can get government contracts, then you say, you gotta wait two years, they done. I'm right. good. I'm gonna go do this two-row thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Airbnb, yeah, right? Yeah. They want to hurry up and do that. Yeah. This longevity money that ain't going nowhere, mm. the piece that's holding people back is too much information so they can't execute to get started right now. Yeah. I'm here to tell them, get your LLC, get your DUNS number, mm -hmm. get your EIN, register in SAM.gov, and you ready, ready. You and so, and so, how, so how long, so now, you know, I, I get my LLC, how long after my LLC is established that I can, I can now start getting government contracts? Oh, you can do an LLC in one day, right? Yeah. And you can register that one day LLC tomorrow. That's what I'm saying. Like Word. most people, that I told you, most people think you gotta wait. Oh, I got my LLC and I gotta wait six months. Nah, build that thing tomorrow or tonight and then register it tomorrow wow. in the sam.gov. Wow. It's that quick. And, the, and then the approval process probably take like five to seven days. Wow. Huh? Nah, wow, that's powerful. And so, um, talk to me about like now, Jason White, you know, he is, Teaching people how to secure government contracts, yeah, that's crazy right? In itself. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he, he's uh, gotten awarded multi-million dollar contracts. Has um, you know, you know, residual income is is, is chilling. You know what I mean, like he's yeah. doing, he's living his life. Um, if you were to go back to 18, 18 year old Jason White, yeah. uh, what what advice would you be giving him? Oh man, I really got to think. Yeah. I was a hothead, man. Yeah. I had no direction. Yeah. I had no goals. Um, I was content in my four little blocks. I was walking around and riding my bike around every day. Yeah. I was cool with that. So if I had to reach back and say something to him, I'd say the world is bigger than these four blocks. Mm. The world is way bigger than this, man. Yeah. Be consistent. Yeah. Listen twice as much as you talk because you got two ears and one mouth. Yeah. And stay focused. When you when you get it, you're going to get it. Yeah. 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 And, and what, what, what would you say... Um, you know, it is like the 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 biggest money lesson though that you've learned so far. Like, you know, being somebody who you you went from, you know, gas station to multi millions, right? So you have to have, you know, this different perspective on, yeah. on money. Uh, what's the biggest money, you know, lesson you've learned? Man, you know the cliche people say you gotta build a team, get yeah. your team together. Yeah. That joint is true. Mm -hmm. You got you gotta have a team. You got to have people in place to help you continue to help you grow your money, especially if you didn't come from money and you don't understand it. So I had a big learning curve. I never was a flashy guy. I'm still not, right? Mm -hmm. I don't walk around and say, I got this, I got that. I don't even show my house, the car. I don't do none of that mm -hmm. stuff. However, karma though, I did spend money on stupid stuff because yeah, yeah. I just didn't have a clue. Yeah. So you got to put people in place to help you continue to grow your money. Yeah. Man. So what So what? What would you say... Um, is the most extravagant thing you've done with money so far? Oh man, uh, the carnival, um, you know the carnival cruise line? Yeah. So I never been on a cruise, yeah. but my father and my mom, they love cruise. They're not together, but they was with their own people. Uh -huh. Let me get that whole thing for three days. Word. Let me get the whole thing for mm. three days. Don't, but I ain't, we ain't move it though. Right. It was dark, but they had the whole ship three days. Wow. That's the biggest thing I've ever done. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. Yeah. And then what, what, what would you say is the, uh, most impactful thing you've done with money? Oh man, that's a good question. Retire my mom. Mm. Yeah. I cried like a dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah to yeah. date, that's the most impactful thing. Yeah. Because I know what I put her through. Yeah. I know what she was going through. Yeah. I know, I know my it's my mom, right? I know her life story. Are you the only child? Or you no, I got a sister. But my mom helped raise my two cousins too after my auntie passed away. Mm. So my mom basically raised four kids. Off of three jobs, that's the most impactful thing I did. Mm, mm. And so, and so, fi fin finish the statement for uh, for me. I am J White, first name, last name. Yeah, I'm gonna embody that. Yeah, right. I am the guy that had no direction, but stayed focused and figured out life, mm. and I'm here today. All right. Uh, when it's all said and done, I will be. I ain't putting a cap on it because mm. my story is still going. Yeah. If somebody answers that question, they putting themselves in the box. Hundred mm. percent. Mm. No, 100%. Yes, and so uh, I want everyone who crosses my path to know. I'm a real one. 
my word is my bond. That's still true to this day. Mm -hmm. Most people's word don't mean squat. Mm -hmm. They say, oh yeah, I'm going to call you. They don't even call you back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So my word is my bond. And so and, and what, what, what advice would you have uh, for the side hustler, right? So you know that you know, there, there, there's somebody right now uh, who got the nine to five. Yeah. They, they dipping their toe into you know, starting a business. What advice would you give to that person? So let me say this too first. Like, you know, some people will say, Quit your job. Stop making somebody else rich. You're making, making somebody else's dreams come true for them. I don't like that statement. Yeah. Because them the same people that probably got a team, mm -hmm. which means they employed those other people, right, right. that they talking to. Right. So if you got a nine to five, that might actually be your passion yeah. or your purpose. Yeah. Keep your nine to five, but just understand you have to have multiple streams of income. Yeah. So if that's your thing, your nine to five, understand, like I said, everybody should be doing a piece of business with the federal government. This might be the best avenue for you with little to no resources. Sources. Yeah, yeah. If you are an entrepreneur, business coach, or small business owner who wants to get more visibility for your product or service, then consider advertising on Inside the Vault. We have been seen and heard over 2 million times, and as the show continues to grow, your ad would be embedded in our episodes forever. So the return on investments on advertising with us is unmeasurable and invaluable. If you're interested in this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, then text PODCAST to 646-687-4152 or email us at info at insidethevaultshow.com. Allow your business to get the visibility that it deserves. So let so let's talk let's talk more about your program, right? Like, you know, 12.8 million dollars have been now circulated in our community based yeah. on information that you weren't afraid to hold, you know, hold on to that yeah. you shared. Um, and now, you know, families are able to take care of their families and now the, the, the cycle. I'm still getting used to that, bro. Yeah. I, it's yeah, different. That, yeah. And, 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 that, and that's, that's a, a, a great responsibility and a great thing that allows your blessings to keep coming, actually, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because you, you're blessed and now you're helping, you know, other, you know, other people become blessed. So talk more about your program. Like what, uh, why are your students so successful? And what, you know, what, what can people get out of it? So I saw a stat. So it's a digital course. It's yeah. online. So it's self-paced. I saw a stat, something like uh, most online digital courses, people only finish like 30% of them. Yeah. My course completion rate is 98% wow. since last year. Wow. Think Ifix sent me emails all the time that, yo, your course is 98% completion rate. Yeah, yeah. So number one, they're completing the course. Yeah. Number two is information they can easily digest to yeah. get it popping. Yeah. I don't, I'm not giving them government jargon and, uh, ooh, nah, yeah. this is what you need to do. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And they taking their marching orders and getting busy. Yeah. So I can't even take a whole lot of credit for it because mm -hmm. they're executing. Mm -hmm. We all know knowledge, not power. It's right. applied knowledge, that's power. They're applying it yeah. because I'm giving it to them so they can digest it. Yeah. And I'm loving it. Yeah. Loving yeah. It. And I and I, I love that you say that because I, I actually think the number is lower than that. I think I think uh totally things like 6.8% like yeah, yeah, completion, dumb. right? Yeah, so yeah. so I so I don't think that's something to sneeze at. I think 98% completion. Yeah, yeah, like bro. like what like what is it about your program yeah. that 98% like yeah. that's that's let me do this. Let me toot my own horn. Please, bro. go ahead, go ahead. Talk it's, it's, it's the talk vessel. Your ish. It's, talk the, it, talk it's it. the vessel. Mm. I ain't no boring dude. Right. I'm not a square biz type dude. Yeah. So now they looking at my personality, hearing how I talk. They're like, yo, if he doing it, yeah. they might call me dumb, slow. He barely graduated. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up, though. <laughs> right. But they like, I can do it too. Right. And now they're getting it done. Mm. So it's the vessel for real, for yeah. real. Yeah. But then I'm teaching them communication skills. Yeah. I'm teaching them about pricing. Yeah. I'm teaching them how to communicate with a contract specialist. Yeah. I'm actually teaching them what they need to read in terms of documentation. Like I'm getting to it. Yeah. All the other fluff stuff don't even matter. I'm yeah. getting, we getting straight to the point. Yeah. The course is 2.5. Like if somebody was to sit straight through it, yeah. it's 2.5 hours. Mm -hmm. they, they hit me the same day. Yo, I just finished your course. Wow. I'm ready. Wow. I'm like, well, get to the money then. Yeah, yeah, Stop yeah. talking to me. Yeah, yeah. Get to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I love that. And so look, for my insiders, we, we got a special offer at the end um, for you because I think that you know, I mean, is there something I'm missing, though, man? Because I, yo, I, yo, cause I, cause you, you, I know me. <laughs> I ain't a, it's too good to be true type of dude. Yeah. But like, man, like, like, like I'm, like I don't know. Like I'm looking at my, <laughs> my, my producer right now. Like, why am I doing this show? It, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to, I'm about to get a government <laughs> contract. I think I can speak well. You know what, what I'm saying? saying? 
it, um, it, it, it's, it's simple, though. Like most people think that you can't get a government contract because their mindset is different. Yeah. Their mindset is, what can I do for the federal government? Right. That's the wrong mindset. It's, yeah. can I manage? Can I manage the government contract and or can I manage the company mm. that's going to do the work on the government contract? Yeah. The answer is always yes. I, I give a quick example. Every time we take our car to the auto mechanic, we say, yo, my man, I need an oil change. Yeah. And you say, all right, cool. Main man come back and say, yo, you need an oil change. You need a transmission, right. new tires, or window wipers, all that. He be like, yo, I tell you, I just need an oil change. Yeah, yeah. You just project manager, auto mechanic, has been doing his thing for 15 years because yeah. you knew the expectation. Right. All I do is take the expectation from the federal government and I echo it mm -hmm. to the company that's going to do the work. Yeah. Everybody can do that. And what, what, what happens if um, you subcontract Yeah. And that subcontract that doesn't deliver on. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's people that be lying. Yeah. It's garbage people out there that yeah. say I can do this and I and they really can't. Yeah. So here's a real time example. Mm -hmm. I had a government I had a subcontractor that said I have six employees and three pieces of equipment. Well, the government called me and said, yo, your people out here are struggling. What's going on? Mm -hmm. So I called him. I said, yo, what's going on? He said, yeah, it's just me and my cousin out here with one piece of equipment. Yeah. Cool. My back is against the wall, but I ain't panicking because what I noticed through my experience is the federal government wants to work with total small businesses. Yeah. So they're going to give us multiple chances. Mm -hmm. We just can't keep making the same mistake. Mm -hmm. So because that subcontractor couldn't do what he said he could do, you get him out of there mm -hmm. and just bring somebody in there. It's multiple companies that could do what he uh, and, and And so from a management perspective, as being a plug, yeah. you're not going to get all of the bread and give them, like, so now you're, you're paying them as they're completing the job. You so so you're you not go. even awarding them the full contract. You go. You're like, yo... You got to do it, and if you're not doing it right, yeah. all right, here's, what, what you, here's the money for what you paid. Let me yep. get somebody else to come yep. do the job. 100%. The government is giving me per month. Yeah. So the total value of the contract is 300000 right? Yeah. So every single month, they give me a piece of that 300000 Yeah. Cool. For the work that's being completed, I'm paying them. Yeah. He garbage, I get them out of the way, pay him for the work he completed, mm. bring somebody else in there, and then keep it rolling. Mm. It's that simple. No, I love that. Yeah. I love that. All right, We cool. don't make it hard, baby. Yeah, no, no, I love that. I love that. All right, so Beth, so we're going to do our, our lightning round, right? All right. Um, and so, you know, we are inside the vault, like yes, literally, sir. you know what I'm saying? Literally. Um, and so here inside the vault, what we do is we take bank terms, um, and with those bank terms, we flip them so it could be connected to us, right? Okay. Um, and so the first term we're going to say is deposit slip, okay. right? Um, as you know, in a bank, uh, you, you get a deposit slip, you fill it out, you bring it, that's where you, you put money inside the bank. Yeah. But for us inside the vault, a deposit slip, is a is a is a slip up a money mistake right okay, okay. uh like and so what is the biggest deposit slip or money mistake you've ever you've ever had you've ever done uh invested in an apartment building all by myself when I thought the dude I was partnering with had money as well mm. yeah it was it was all bad and so you invested in, in an apartment building yeah eighty two doors mm -hmm. yeah and it, yeah and, and my man said he he showed me a bank comfort letter mm -hmm. which he probably derived himself in his in his living room, right. you know what I'm saying? Showed it to me, I thought it was good. Yeah. But this is new money, Jay, too. Right, right. So I'm like, all right, we good. We put up all the money. Yeah, it was it was bad. And then so and so what happened? You, you guys did you didn't get the uh Yeah, no, I I bet I uh I lost I think I lost 125 on mm -hmm. 125,000. Wow. But I put 250 on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and, and so how, how'd you get the how'd you get the one twenty five? I had to sell the building wow. as is. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I'm, and then they just you know one twenty five. You want it? I'm like, yeah, come on, let me wow. get something, let me get something back for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And so 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 turn number two is um, charge off, okay. right? Um, and so you know to charge off, you borrow money from a bank, and if if the bank don't pay or if you don't pay the bank back, the bank is gonna charge it off after a certain amount of time. Okay. Uh, for us inside the vault. Uh, a charge off is what type of people or mindset did you have to char charge off on your journey to where you are right now? Oh, uh, man, like get rid of yeah, yeah. Uh, all my homeboys. Mm. But I didn't do it, though. Yeah. They did it to themselves. Mm. As I'm growing, as I'm progressing, as I'm uh, getting into new circles and just being introduced to new people, they wasn't feeling it. Yeah. So I just got to love them from afar. Mm. You know what I mean? Some yeah. family members, too. But I didn't do it. I kept calling them, saying, hey. I'm getting into this. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. They just wasn't feeling it. Yeah. Charged yeah. them off and charged them to the game too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Unapologetically. You feel me? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last but not least, trust account, right? Um, you know, a trust account is where you put all of your valuable things and you allow it to grow. Um, you know, on your journey, you talked about team, right? Um, but what kind of mindset or people 
uh, are in your trust account that's helping you grow on a daily basis. That's good. So as you meet new people, people think that you're building people into your new circle. Mm -hmm. Well, my circle is always going to be my homeboy that got me in the government contract, yeah. my sister, mom, and my, and my immediate family, right? Yeah. I'm not bringing anybody into that new circle. Yeah. Just because I get new associates and, and closer friends, mm -hmm. they're not involved in my circle. Yeah. So my circle stay what it is so they can keep me humble. Mm. I get big headed every mm. now and then. Yeah, yeah. I pop off, talk my ish, hey, hey, hey. But they like, nah, chill. We remember when you was riding that pedal bike right, right. that barely had air in the back tire. Right. I'm like, yeah, that was me. Yeah, you're yeah, right, yeah. you're right. So I keep that circle small so I can remain humble, yeah. but at, at the same time, not be humble so I can keep feeding the people mm -hmm. the information that they need. No, I love it. I love it. And I, I actually remember throw a little bonus in here. Um, dispel a money myth for me, right? Because, you know, coming from where we come from, there's a lot of times you hear money doesn't grow on trees. And yeah. Like, like all these, you know, you gotta you gotta work hard for money. Um, I mean, you literally the plug, you know what I'm saying? The middleman um, that doesn't necessarily have to work hard for money. So um, dispel a money myth. What, what is something about money that now that you have it, like yeah. you always thought growing up it was this way. Now you got it. You're like, nah, that ain't true. <laughs> the same from Biggie, more money, more problems is real. Mm. They just different problems. Yeah. They just different, right? Yeah. I ain't worried about my lights getting turned off and, you know, they coming to take the house. I'm worried about other type problems. Yeah. People coming to me as investors and they snakes. Mm. Investment deals really aren't investments, mm. right? Somebody saying, oh, okay, uh, put this money into this type of whatever it is, and that's not real. Yeah. So now I got a different type of money problems mm. for people just being snakes because they realize that you got money yeah. and then they want to take it from you. Man, so yeah. them problems is real. Yeah. Yeah. Man, listen, y'all. Let me let me let me break this down for y'all. If y'all, if y'all don't understand what just happened here, right? My guy, Jay White, just gave you the keys, like literally the keys to financial freedom. You know, number one, he helped you learn how to search for government contracts. Number two, he, he helped you learn how to submit those things by having a proper speech, right? And then lastly, he learned, he taught you how to secure them, right? And so if you want to take your life to the next level, you don't have to have a, a special certificate. Uh, he has a 98% completion rate on his program. So I know there's a lot of fake gurus out here trying to teach you some things and all they trying to do is get you hype and they not get you to that finish line. But literally at a 98% Completion rate, I promise you that you have to tap in with my guy, Jay White. So make sure, just for our insiders though, because you're watching this, we have a special offer for you who are our insiders. Uh, if you go to insidersfedcode.com, that's insidersfedcode.com, we got a special offer for you where you can take his program for less than what he normally charges on it. And listen, this is an investment as well, right? Because you're going to be taught the game. You're going to learn how to get to that next level, how to be the middleman. You don't even have to... Man, I don't even think you understand. Yo, Jay White, brother. Yo, appreciate Yo, you, I man. appreciate yes, you, sir, King. Love. Yeah. Um, if anybody wanted to connect with you, um, you know, or, or, or tap into more yeah. of your stuff, where yeah. can they reach you? So, so I am Jason White underscore on IG and then thefederalcode.com. If you talk to me, I'm going to talk back. Yeah, straight up. All right, y'all. So we are closing out the vault. Another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Matter of fact, I need you right now to make sure you are joining our Insiders community. I need you to text the word INSIDERS to 646-687-4152. That's text the word INSIDERS to 646-687-4152. 4152. We'll give you exclusive content behind the scenes. Cause look, we get, we get, we get crazy back here, right? So behind the scenes content of what's going on, prizes, everything. Make sure you tap in to the insiders community. Follow us on all social media platforms at inside the vault. Uh, I am Ash Cash. Follow me at I am Ash Cash. And I'll see y'all next time for another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash. We are closing the vault. I'll see you next time in God's will. Peace. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You won't ask cash, you can catch it right here in the ball.